I can't be the only one whose kid's play space looks like this at the end of the day. I need to clean this up, <laughs> but I thought maybe before I do, we could sit down and chat about core blood donation. So this mess was made by twins, <gasps> which means that I wasn't able to donate their core blood. However, I did have a lot of the same questions that many parents who are considering core blood donation might have. For example, it was really important to me to be able to delay cord clamping if everything went well in the delivery of my twins. And it was possible. And the same goes for parents who are considering cord blood donation. It's pretty common medical practice for at least a 60 second delay before clamping the cord after a safe delivery. Any longer than that might impact the amount of cord blood that we're able to collect, but we'll still collect it. Which means you can delay cord clamping and still donate your baby's cord blood to help a patient in need.